Alright guys, so I just came out of the theatre for Thor Love and Thunder. Um, I don't know, I actually, not quite sure how I felt about this one. Um, like, I liked it. Uh, definitely better than Multiverse of Madness, uh, because I rewatched that and I liked it the second viewing, but not as much as the first time. I did like it more than that, No School is No Way Home for me. Um, I think that this movie kind of, there is stuff in it that I think are really cool, like I will mention it in my actual review, um, it will be no spoilers review but I will give some mild spoilers in that review, but this is just right out of the theatre, saying nothing about the movie, no spoilers, no spoilers, just how I generally feel, and like there's some stuff that I really like and then there's some stuff that um, I don't hate but I'm like <clears throat> that could have been like that could have been changed right so I will do a review of this movie uh, when I get home um, because I will sound like I will mention this in my review as well but um, I decided to see it today because I heard that uh, game, like, not pans, but people are not liking this, and I'm like, oh, I should see where everyone's coming from, and I can see some bits where people might not like it, um, but I think it's actually alright. It's definitely like, I think I would put it like, maybe below Ragnarok. Um, and above the first Thor, because I really like the first Thor. I don't mind the uh, second Thor, but it is far down below. And I really like Ragnarok. Um, so, there will be some stuff that I will mention in my, um, like, non spoil review, but I will go in more in depth. Um, and just warn you guys that I am a bit, um, not as much, it's not as bad now, but I am a little croaky, so. Um, but I will do a review. I just need to make sure that I don't talk as much. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to say that I think Thor Love and Thunder is pretty good. I can't wait to do a review on it and share my thoughts. So, I'll see you guys in the actual review. Okay, bye.